Hey guys, yo, what's up? It's me, it's your boy, uh, Kyle here again. Um, wanted to get my thoughts out on this because I've been kind of wanted to wait to see like how things played out with the WWE and the storyline that they have been putting on for both Raw and SmackDown leading into uh, Hell in a Cell. Uh, this isn't a Hell in a Cell review, but I guess you can kind of maybe chalk up chalk it up as that a little bit because I will be hitting on some things as it pertains to certain uh, storylines and matches leading into Hell, Hell in a Cell this weekend. But, um, I gotta talk about this really quickly. I was gonna speak on it last week, but I was just like, are they really doing this? They're doing this. But what the fuck are WWE doing with Braun Strowman? This guy was the one of the hottest baby faces they had on the Monday Night brand. And they turned him heel just to feud with Roman Reigns. Makes absolutely... No damn sense. Um, I just, I, 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 I don't get it. I really do not get it. First of all, um, this was a point I wanted to bring out earlier before, or weeks ago, actually. But first of all, I think it's too soon for Braun Strowman to cash in his money in the bank briefcase. Reason being, you know damn well this Sunday, Braun Strowman is not beating Roman Reigns for the strap. It ain't happening. If Roman Reigns, from WWE standpoint, if and even storyline standpoint as well, but if WWE have been booking Roman Reigns for you know the last two years, three if you want to go back to Mania 31, chasing Brock Lesnar's ass for the championship, the Universal title in particular, over the last two years, chasing Brock Lesnar for the championship, wanting to beat Brock Lesnar. Finally does it and accomplishes that at SummerSlam. Do you think in the bluest of blue hells that if Roman Reigns went through hell and back to get the title off, you know, uh, uh, an indestructible monster that was Brock Lesnar, do you think WWE are going to have Roman Reigns legitimately drop the strap in his first title defense? Well, second, if, you know, you count the Finn Balor match on Raw. It technically, it would be a second title defense, but still, you know what I mean. His first big title defense in you know a big pay per view like Hell in a Cell. Fuck no, it's not gonna happen. So for anyone to think that Braun Strowman might win, fuck no, it's not gonna happen. I think Braun Strowman, when Braun Strowman cashed in, well, when he teased in the cash in uh, the Monday night. The, the Monday Night Raw after SummerSlam, I thought, oh, okay, he was teasing the cash in. It failed. I thought by, you know, maybe they might throw somebody else in the, in the you know, contendership uh, arena for the title to face Roman. Nope. They stuck with, Brock, with Bron, Braun Strowman. Strowman aligned himself with Ziggler and, and, and uh, McIntyre for the beatdown of Roman Reigns. Now, granted, I thought it made sense. A lot of people thought that that was kind of stupid. Um, I mean, I see why they did that. I mean, Braun Strowman got beat up by three men. So he said, hey, I got beat down by three men. I'm going to get some help myself. And I'm going to beat the fuck out of Roman Reigns. Makes sense in that regard. The enemy of my enemy is my friend type of like thing. Um, but since then, they've completely turned Braun full blown heel. And it's like, are you kidding me right now? Are you kidding me? Braun's not winning this Sunday. If he does win, I would be shocked as hell. Because Braun Strowman, to me, is one of those few guys that needed... I wouldn't say need, but he should have won the strap like yesterday. He's one of those guys. Braun Strowman is a guy that has gotten organically over with the WWE crowd base. Um... He went up against Brock Lesnar. I thought the build-up to that feud was solid. The match was, eh. There was nothing left for them to do with Braun but to turn him babyface after his feud with Lesnar. I wasn't a fan of it. I thought Braun Strowman, to me, made a much more of a better, strong, uh, you know, dominant monster heel than a monster babyface. But they didn't. They, they booked him kind of carefully as a babyface. But he was still over as Grover. Over like Grover. Um, with the crowd. Now you're sacrificing his momentum and his babyface, you know, heat or whatever his momentum 
just to give him to Roman Reigns. Now, I like the feud between Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, you know, a year that, that they had over a year ago. That was one of the best feuds I thought in WWE that year. I don't mind these guys having a program again. But when you look at the circumstances and everything that you factor in, everything that I just mentioned in this video, right now is not the right time to do a Braun Strowman Roman Reigns feud. Um, so you know Roman Reigns is going to get his win back for putting Braun over multiple times in their, you know, in their first feud over a year ago. Braun Strowman's not winning that strap, and I think it's stupid. I think it was ridiculous to put Braun as Roman's first opponent. They're doing the storyline where it's, you know, one versus all, you know, the whole roster against, you know, the Shield, which I like the Shield. I do. I love Rollins. I like Dean Ambrose. I'm a fan of Roman Reigns, but it just... I, I'm not digging the storyline. This this whole thing of reuniting the Shield out of nowhere. Granted, like I mentioned in my last video before, the purpose of them really doing this is because their reunion last year was a bust because people got sick and others got injured. So it put the whole Shield plan to a complete halt. So who knows where it would have gone had it originally stayed its course. But as of right now, Maybe they felt like they had nothing really big going on post SummerSlam, so this like, hey, let's go and put the shield together. Which I guess it's it's not a bad idea, but the storyline that they're making right now involving the shield versus pretty much you know everyone or you know a majority of the heels on the Raw brand, it's kind of lackluster. Like I'm I'm at a loss for words. Like I don't really know. Um where they're going, what they're doing. I'm all for wrestling being unpredictable. That's completely fine with me. Um, but, I mean, you know, when it's, when it's, when you don't know what's going on in terms of you're scratching your head and you're saying, this doesn't make sense. <laughs> kind of not a good thing, um, in my opinion. Um, yeah, I, I just don't know what they're doing with this whole, uh, this whole shield uh, reunion thing. Um, I mean, bright side to it, Dolph Ziggler and McIntyre, you can probably uh, arguably say they've been kind of bumped up as the top heels on Raw. I'm a McIntyre fan. I love McIntyre. Um, there were rumors, too, that um, besides Braun Strowman, McIntyre may be facing Roman Reigns for the Universal title. So I don't know where they're going to go with this. Um like I said, I think Braun Strowman should have been champ uh, a year ago. <clears throat> um, or they should have just delayed his cash in. Because um, I, I just think it's it's too soon. Um, do I think they'll have a good match? Sure. I'm looking forward to these guys um, having a good match. Um, them being confined within a hell in a cell cage. I think they can do some real damage. Because Roman Reigns and Braun Strowman, they have good chemistry. They have put on good matches. Uh, Roman sells well for Braun. And Braun, you know, plays off of Roman and being a destructible monster. So, uh, we'll see where we get in with this. Just right now, WWE, it's just... It's like they really have no focus. Um, and I think last night was like a perfect example of that. Um, coming from the Raw end, especially... It's like they just had no focus. I mean, this was the go-home show to Hell in a Cell. And Raw was really lackluster. Um, it wasn't the worst show I've seen. But it was just it, it was just lackluster. It was just like, meh. You know, um, I fast-forward through most of Raw uh, for the most part. But, um, yeah, it's just, it's like, I, I, I'm, at a, I'm at a loss for words. I don't know what the hell they're doing with, with Kevin Owens. He gets fired, but then comes back within a week later and then assist the same peep, assist Braun Strowman in the beatdown when Braun Strowman's been whooping the hell out of Kevin Owens for months. Owens comes back after quitting a week later, comes right back the following Monday and assists in the beatdown of the Shield. Makes no sense. His whole reasoning for coming back because of Bobby Lashley shows they didn't know what to do with Kevin Owens. 
they really had no 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 storylines uh for for Kevin Owens and this is why I say it's just it's stupid you know um Finn Balor and Roman Reigns that could have been a feud you know for you know a couple of programs at least for the universal title uh Roman Reigns and and Kevin Owens could have been a feud I mean, there are some guys on that brand, and I don't care about the whole, you know, it's got to be babyface versus the heel. You could do babyface, babyface dynamic. It doesn't always have to be babyface heel. <sighs> I don't know. You guys let me know what you think about this. Um, Hell in a Cell does look interesting on paper. Um, on the SmackDown on the SmackDown side, I think the build has been great for the SmackDown portion of Hell in a Cell. I'm really looking forward to Joe uh, Styles again. I think that match is going to be awesome. Uh, Joe, I think is going to win the strap this time. Um, at least I think he should. Um, but if AJ retains, I'm not going to complain either. But I think right now the time is hot with Joe. Joe was like near 40. Strike now while the iron is hot. Uh, trying to think what else. <laughs> Becky Lynch and Charlotte feud. I'm invested in that. That is probably one of the first women's feud in quite a long time in my opinion maybe since the Sasha Banks and Paige feud that I've been invested in interested in or Sasha Banks and Bailey from NXT um I'm invested in this feud I think Becky should get it uh the only thing that has my interest on the raw end is Braun Strowman versus Roman Reigns even though I know the foregone conclusion is Roman's retaining Braun and Roman have good chemistry and um you know, just having them in a steel cage match or Hell in a Cell, uh, I think it's going to be fine. They randomly throw a Mick Foley as a special guest referee. Don't know where that's going to lead. <sighs> you guys let me know what you're thinking in the box below. Comment, subscribe. Peace out.